Okay, so if you follow my blog or follow my um, tweets or anything like that, you know I'm a big fan of meditation. I do it every day, well, five days a week. And uh, I wrote a blog post recently. Sorry, while I adjust myself. I wrote a blog post recently about um, how anything can be a meditation because really meditation is just a, a matter of pointing your focus and awareness uh, in a direction intentionally rather than allowing it to be taken off by your subconscious, by um, um, your unconscious mind. So rather than letting your mind wander, you focus your attention. It can be on your breathing or really it can be on anything. And eventually this focus gives way to or when you're in a good session, gives way to a flow state. So, you know, when you're creating art or you're working on a project and it just, you know, the time just flies and you haven't even been aware of the clock ticking or what's going on around you, you've just been so focused. That's a kind of meditation. And you can do the same when you're, when you're breathing, when you're, um, uh, well, doing anything really focused um, and when you're looking internally too. So you can really um, uh, experience other other types of consciousness awareness because you're so focused internally and this is how guided meditations work They're so powerful sometimes when you when you get one that really absorbs you but I was waiting for my train this morning and um, I was just standing on the platform and I was drawn to the trees opposite me so they were they were just blowing in the wind and the leaves were just making the sound very similar to the sound that the waves make when they come against the shore this kind of um, white noise sound and it was really soothing I just focused my attention on this in just the same way that you focus on your own breathing when you're meditating I focused on the sound of the trees and when you when you meditate you have this in breath and with the out breath there's a kind of release there's this letting go and in that moment I realized that when we let go we have the ability to transcend what we can touch, what we think about in a conscious way, what we feel, taste, and we can transcend these things. And we can even transcend where we stop and everything else begins. And when we let go, and we're in a deep sense of letting go, we can become part of our surroundings. We can literally break down our physical barriers and just become this kind of sense of consciousness and awareness and essentially one with the continuous infinite universe. And that was really quite powerful because when we, when we learn to let go like that, nothing else matters. We're not even aware of anything else. We're just aware of this kind of freedom from our own, our own boundaries, our own uh, restrictions of where we stop and the rest of the universe ends. And that's a really powerful thing and a really important release because it brings a lot of things into perspective. And at the very least, gives such a powerful sense of calm that for a few moments, we're just able to just be, be one with the, the breath that we're making or the, the air that we're breathing, or just release those, those thoughts and just feel those emotions, the connectedness with the infinite universe around us that sense of sheer kind of love and compassion and understanding. And you can know everything and see everything in every single moment. So that's just a little thought on meditation for today. It's my thought for today. Um, hope you like it, something to ponder about. And next time you walk past a tree or you're on the beach, just stop and really just listen and breathe in and then release and just see where that takes you. All right, thanks very much.